Okay, so we're gonna be unboxing the X Men Shadow version two six by six. Um, and personally, I was not that big of a fan of the MGC six by six. It just locked up a lot, and it also popped e even after tightening it. And it feels like the like layers are just like grinding against each other. I if that makes any sense, like it just feels like there's a lot more catching. So hopefully this cube will be better. Um. All right. So accessories. We just have stickers, I guess. A pamphlet on how to solve the cube. Interesting. Uh, a bunch of cards. Yeah, nice. Alright. I think we should just open up the 6x6 and see how it is. So here's the plastic wrap. And I will be comparing this obviously to the MGC 6x6. Since that one is said to be the best one right now. So... Here's the cube. So, here's the MGC 6x6. We'll just compare the size. The shadow version 2 is a tiny bit smaller. Maybe by like a millimeter. So, here the uh, biggest issue. Let me just get this out of the way. So, like the biggest issue I had with the, M uh, yeah, with the MGC is just like that. I had way too much pops and like lockups. And also, like, the inner layers were just super unsatisfying to turn. So let's just see how this feels. Whoa, that's... It feels really sandy. It feels so smooth. Also, it has much lower pitch. It's super sandy. Um, there's a tiny bit of lube on the outside there. Yeah, but right now, this cube feels... Really good, actually. I like to feel a lot more. It's also, I feel like it's a lot faster. Like, it's more free-flowing, I would say, than the, than the MGC. The shades also, I, I prefer, like, this type of green here. So, yeah. Let's check out the inner layers. So, so far, I've only turned the out outer layers. Alright, let's check out how the, uh, how the second layer feels. Whoa, that's super fast. Oh, there's first lockup. <laughs> that was a pretty minor one. Minor lockup. So, so far, this feels really good. And now let's try the third layer. Oh. Yeah, this feels really good. I don't think that the tensions are too tight or too loose. It's kind of perfect. Uh, let's check out the corner cutting, which I should not, like, I don't expect too much out of this. Um, the MGC... I think that the MGC is a tiny bit better at a corner cutting, but, but when I do corner cut, I sometimes get lockups. And even though the shadow was a tiny bit worse at a corner cutting, then it like never like catches on anything. So right now it's feeling really sandy and really satisfying to turn, especially the second layer, which is and here like I just always catch like no matter what. Then it just it's not as as stable of a cube, I would say. Yeah, this is feeling really nice to turn. I love it. Um, so far. So, the magnets right now feel noticeable, but on the outer layers, it's really light. Let's check out the most inner layer. I kind of, I kind of hear, like, this snapping noise. It's, it's, it doesn't seem like there's any loose magnets, but that's really weird. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Yeah, but 
So far, I'm loving the sound and feel of this cube a lot more than on the MGC. Now, I'm not that great at 6x6. Uh, I currently average about um, uh, 4 minutes, maybe a tiny bit less. So, I don't know. I'm, we're going to have to see which one I feel more, uh, more comfortable with. But right now, I prefer the feel of the X-Man Shadow version 2. So I think that's going to be it for the unboxing, because there isn't a t a too much else to look at here. Other than right now, I am liking the Shadow V2 more than the MGC. So I am planning on making, I am planning on making like a main, uh, like a mains uh, video, like which cubes I use. And I think this cube has a big shot at being my main, because right now I just prefer the turning on this than on the MGC. I'm not saying the MGC is like, bad. I mean, a lot of people use the MGC, but the shadow just feels better now. Like, it's just that, like the corner cutting is not as good, but that's the only thing I can say that's kind of worse about it right now. Everything else about it just feels really great. So I think that's going to do it for this unboxing. Um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.